An actor is released on bond after being caught living under the radar in Canada for the last two years, and Kanye West is claiming he was unfairly censored. Kanye West is responding to the backlash over his performance at the Billboard Music Awards, which was mostly muted. A statement from his rep reads, Kanye West was grossly over-censored. Non-profane lyrics were muted for over 30-second intervals. As a result, his voice and performance were seriously misrepresented. Golden Globe-winning actor Randy Quaid has just been released from a Montreal immigration detention center. The 64-year-old American actor was arrested in Montreal last Thursday before appearing in front of the Immigration and Refugee Board yesterday. Among other conditions, Quaid has been ordered to check in with border agency officials every two weeks. Quaid, who is the older brother of actor Dennis Quaid, has been living secretly in Ontario and Quebec for the last two years while trying to avoid immigration officials after his bid for permanent residency in Canada was denied in late 2012. He and his wife fled the States in 2010, saying they were victims of persecution from, quote, Hollywood star whackers. The two face a string of legal problems in the U.S. Quaid said yesterday that he plans to settle those issues. He may be removed from Canada in the coming days. The matter is under negotiation with the American authorities. I count the votes. And you're going to be the bachelorette. Canadian Caitlin Bristow is the new bachelorette. And it looks like she might make the wildest season yet. When I'm with him, I surrender to every feeling that I'm feeling. One of those relationships went too far too fast. I made a huge mistake. Catch new episodes every Monday, only on City. Canada takes over Cannes with the premiere of Sicario, even as the prestigious film festival deals with Flatgate. <laughs> Emily Blunt, Josh Brolin. Benicio Del Toro. These are the A-list actors playing in Canadian director Denis Villeneuve's crime thriller Sicario, which is earning positive reviews from critics. With equality for women in film always a hot topic at Cannes, Blunt's lead role in Sicario is being praised, but the actress took time to weigh in on something she calls disappointing. We're talking about Flatgate. Reports have surfaced that women were turned away from glam can events for wearing flats instead of heels. I mean, everyone should wear flats, to be honest, <laughs> at the best of time. I don't think we shouldn't wear high heels anyway, but um, that's just my point of view. I just prefer wearing Converse sneakers. The festival's director is denying any high heels only policy. Jeanette McCurdy is entering a dark world of mystery, conspiracy, and quarantine in the brand new city original series, Between. The survivalist drama centers on a town under siege from a mysterious disease that has wiped out everybody except those aged 21 and under. Entertainment City went behind the scenes with our own Melanie Ying, who makes an appearance in the show. Extensive protests have erupted outside the area and in nearby town. It's pretty cool. We were able to shoot in yeah. our city newsroom. What's the, what was it like sitting in the control room down here and watching it? I, I'm very impressed with the efficiency at which you guys operate. <laughs> Between has its world broadcast premiere on City tomorrow, when you can tune in to Entertainment City for our interviews with the cast. Here she is. Don't forget to add this to your schedule tonight. It's the season finale of Modern Family. The episode is called American Skyper. Bill, really? That's followed by the season finale of City's freshman comedy, Blackish. You're in for a real pop special. And you can catch both those finales tonight on City. Oh.